What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude here, and we're back with some Hero Coliseum. Now, today, this is just a regular commentary. No live gameplay. This is me playing the game, but this is past Mugs playing the game. And I'm commentating, as you also can see. I'm very indecisive on the team I want to pick. Look at this. Five, four, three, two. I went not. Let's switch. Very crucial choice right there. That is a very crucial choice in how this game goes. Now, hopping in, this is ranked without limitate. I almost said ranked without limitations. Like, this is PvP. Still on my PvP binge a little bit. But we're facing rin 10 Cess. I guess his name is. Hashtag Chun Lee down in the comment section below, everybody. But I forget who it was. Also, you commented a while ago. Go into a match and just see if you can run, like, use an OP, use an OP or gross team and see if you can run through somebody. I don't know how long this match is, but I know I run, I don't run through them. It's close. There's one point in the match where it actually gets pretty, pretty close because if he would have, I think if he would have gotten a double, I would have lost. Let's, let's get into it. I don't want to spoil anything. But if you guys enjoy my content, please drop a like. Drop a comment, subscribe, share the content, all that good stuff, everybody. But we're running the Videl Attack God Coup, Kid Boo. I'm really indecisive in this match. I don't know what I couldn't. I couldn't think about what I wanted to do. I wanted to run Bay 18 first turn and see if I can lock her in, lock, um, lock him in place. But there's one part in the match where I actually screw up, and I probably would have won earlier than I did. Like easy, would have won earlier than I did. Yep, just like last, swapping in Kid Boo last minute. Now, this is very good because Videl's going to be lowering all their defense by 350. You have, but no, v what, what am I talking about? Videl's going to be lowering their defense by 30%. So Vados is actually going to get the lowering a little bit more than the Piccolo. The Piccolo actually gets, he has SEC up skills on him, I believe, and he has the posing skill of Piccolo, so plus 350 defense um, every turn. So he got about a 1050... 1050 defensive buff, which is pretty good for the Piccolo, considering my attack's also getting lower by 30%, but my secret weapon, God Coup. Do not. Do not. I don't know if anybody does, but do not sleep on the God Coup. Please don't. <laughs> Especially the attack God Coup. If you have a Videl and you have a speed team with Videl, throw the attack God Coup on. Put speed up F, ADM up F, and attack up F on him. Put speed up F, First, then attack up F, and then ADM up F, because that 10% will, that 10% um, it, from the ADM up F will um, get a little higher. That 10% that you will be gaining, Kid Buu hits hard. By the way, I love Kid Buu. I don't do a lot of videos on Kid Buu. I might actually have to throw him on a lot more teams. The only reason I don't, the only reason he's not that OP of a figure, or he's not that gross of a figure... Yes, he does attack the map. Yes, he does. I almost said Master directly. Yes, he does attack every... Look how much damage this is, by the way. Look at that, bro. God Koo is gross. The fact that he gives everybody 160 attack, he gains 500... He gains 5% 5 damage dealt every turn, and he gains 700 attack. He, he literally is one of the most broken figures in the entire game, guys. But the reason Kibu isn't that OP of a figure is simply due to the fact that he doesn't have anything, like his posing skill doesn't do anything if you don't either get a kill or you don't attack two people in front of you. Other than that, he's just another figure. He's the same thing as a Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, or Blue Vege OG Blue Vegeta. Because OG Blue Vegeta, if you're not attacking the Master directly, basically he's just there to do damage, which he's just another high attack figure with no posing skill at that point. But... As you guys can see, I'm I'm looking at God Koo has 8,000 attack in the first turn. He's so gross. I'm a little indecisive still because I don't know what he's going to do next turn. Is this the turn where it could decide if I lose or not? Is this it? Because I forget what I do. Yeah, right here is just gross, first of all. God Koo is disgusting. Yeah. If I would have put the Bay 18 on top right, and then I could have actually put Kibu top middle and gotten Kibu a kill, if I would have done that... It would have been absolutely disgusting because Bay 18 would lock him in place, which means Vados is locked and not even in her posing skill. Um, not even in her trigger square. God Koo is locked within the trigger square, but all I had to do was stack up on a gross amount of attack on that top right side. And I probably would have killed both the Vados and the God Koo, depending on who I put. Like, I could have put Bay 18 top right. And then, actually, I don't know. I don't think I would have been able to kill everybody. I may have been able to put the God Koo there just because God Koo's gross. Could have put him top middle, top uh, top right. See, I wanted to go second there because I didn't want him to get these. 
I didn't want him to get SEC seals, especially because, well, he has a God coup of his own, and well, you're about to see what God coup does when you make when you go second. You're about to see what God coup does when you go second because God. I actually need him ten out of ten. I don't know if my God coup is ten out of ten, but he's gross. He's just just disgusting. Look at that. He's just. Comment down below, guys, what your best team is. Just a general question. That's going to be the question for the day. I'm going to start trying to do questions for the day. Wow, you actually hit kind of hard, Kid Boo. Now, look at how much he hits with a Piccolo active. Just wait. Four. With a Piccolo active, dude. Like, I might be able to exaggerate, but that is 4,481 damage. Hashtag jamage down in the comment section below. Hashtag jamage. Jam sandwiches. But... Look, that's just gross. Now, look at this. This is, like, so close. If he didn't get this double, I would probably... It would have been closer than I thought. But, yeah, I would have actually... Look at this. Just wait. We'll see. I don't want to spoil anything. But, hope you guys had a fantastic day. As always, guys, love you guys. Love all the comments. Love all the suggestions. Love all the likes. Even the dislikes. I love it. It just shows... It just shows me that you guys... <laughs> Yeah, your boy could have lost. Your boy could have lost pretty, pretty quickly. But I actually do something very smart in this next turn, which, as you see, he has Ultra Instinct Goku, and I believe he has Ultra Instinct Goku with a one skills. He's waving to me, and I bow to you because this is a good fight. I don't get very. I get a lot of good matches, but on ranked, it's usually like if I run a if I run a defensive setup, they're running a defensive setup like he is, and then it's just just a game of game of chicken who is gonna stop using their defensive setup their shell i'm gonna call it their defensive shell first now i don't know why he did this i don't know why he put vados bottom right you could have put vados top right and would have easily and would have easily um survived but oh yeah i do remember this i literally said this in my head when it happened I was, like, on the mic because he was... I don't know if he was talking because he had his mic on in the beginning of the match in, like, the pregame lobby. Comment. Shout out to you, R-I-N-10-S-E-S. If you're in the if you're in the comment section, shout out to you, brother. You're in the video. Now, here's the deal. Um, the reason he didn't put Vados, which is very smart on your part, because if you would have put the Vados top left, I might not have been able to kill your Vados. I get a 300. But... If you would have put Vados top right for him, top left for me, obviously, he might have been able to survive, which means Ultra Instinct Goku wouldn't have been in his trigger square, which means he couldn't have put Ultra Instinct Goku in his trigger square, which means no minus 80% ultimate attack damage, which is huge because I have 01 skill future Gohan, which, like, if you do not account for Ultra Instinct Goku, more than likely you're going to lose watches. This is the smartest thing I've ever done. This is the smartest play of the match, is I didn't kill the God Q. Because he has 01 skills on the Ultra Instinct Goku, which means he can't put him by himself, and he's not going to be able to pressure me. Because if I would have killed the Ultra, Inst if I would have killed the God Goku, this is what would have been going through my head. Look at this though. How much damage is this? Ten. He's hitting for ten with ease, dude. Ten with ease. But I did this on purpose. Now I lost my Bay 18, but he only has two figures. He has the Ultra Instinct Goku. Yeah, he's right back at you, dude. 10k, easy. You're actually, yours did 10k, and yours was only on the field for two turns, but you also had SEC skills going for you. Now, he has an ult, and I have an ult. If you see Ultra Instinct Goku, and you have an ult, and he has the HP version, I highly recommend if you don't have an insane amount of attack going for you. Like, I still have the God Q, so I might, I wouldn't have been able to kill the, um, I wouldn't have been able to kill the Ultra Instinct Goku. But, look at this. I was thinking about putting Kibu there, but I, I, I just don't want an ult there. So, I put Bay 18, I put Bay Videl. Uh, Bikini Videl, Gaku still in his, still in his trigger square, and uh, Future Gohan is still in his trigger square, which means he's just going to get an attack buff. That is beautiful. That is going to be the match, actually, because the basically what I did last turn was I tried not to use Bay 18 very early in the match because one thing I see, and it's very common, and it works like a lot of the time, but I try not to do it, is I try not to use Bay 18 very early in matches because usually when you're in a match... And, like, Bay 18 is still available. You don't have that one turn because she only does it for one time in the match only. I don't know what I was doing. I could have took a 260. But the Bay 18 is only available. You can only use her one time. Not the figure, but you can only use the lock everybody in place till the next turn um, one time. Which means if you use it first turn, basically they're still set up. They still have a lot of resources. They still have full HP in the first turn. How much do you actually hit for? I never actually looked. Five? A little under five, but he also has only... He also has 5,000 
attack. 5,500 attack after the first turn, so that's not bad. Bay 18. I mean, I call Bay 18. Videl is hitting pretty hard. And then the God Koo cleans up by hitting for a smooth 10k again, because I lowered Ultra and Goku's defense by 30%. But, basically what I was saying with the Bay 18 is, usually if somebody uses it early game, well, they're locking yeah. in place and it's second turn. Now, I've actually done it before. The, for, the setup I was going to run in this match was very slick. And it would have been absolutely beautiful. But, I'm pause this for a second. But, can I pause you? Okay, you're paused. No, you're not. Pause you. Now, the one thing, I'm, obviously, you're going to see my face coming in. Five, four, three, two. I had to... One. The reason I looked, because I flipped off the camera. I flipped off the camera like twice in a video because I was trying to count. And I accidentally flipped you guys off. I didn't mean to do that, guys. But I just want to let you guys know. Also, my hands are dirty because you guys know I get back from work and I instantly start recording. But as I was saying, Bay 18, hashtag tips and tricks from Mugs the Dude. I don't know if you guys like these tips and tricks. Little, little snippets of information. But what usually is somebody uses a Bay 18 first turn is the player that you're going against, say I use it, they have full resources, full HP, they have no damage under their master, so that's like a beautiful setup because you're wasting that one turn to lock in place. Unless they really mess up and be really ballsy first turn and put like a one skill Jiren or a one skill Piccolo or something like that because then if you have a Beerus and you have a, and you have a hit, well, you can just destroy people. But if you use it second turn, a little bit better because... They're still trying to figure out what's best for them to do in the next turn. So, like, that turn, he knew if he put Vados in top right and I locked her in place, he she, he couldn't use Ultra Instinct Goku. So, he was already thinking about that. There's That's the only reason he didn't use Ultra Instinct Goku, which I actually would have used Ultra Instinct Goku if I was him because I don't think Kibu would have killed your Ultra Instinct Goku even with a double. But, overall, if you're going to use Bay 18, I suggest using her either... Or, I just said this, don't do it, but... I just said don't do it, but you can do it. Use her early game and just try to catch them off guard. That's usually what's going to happen with the first turn when you use Bay 18 is try and catch them off guard. They're going to try and do something risky to win the game or just try and gain a little leeway in the next turn or so. Or use it late game because that entire match they're going to be thinking about Bay 18. Bay 18. Bay 18. Bay 18. Because she can lock people in place, lock everybody in place. And that is huge, especially when you're thinking about strategy and how you're going to play or late rounds and stuff like that, guys. But hope you guys enjoyed those tips. Hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary. Live commentary. It's not a live commentary. It's just a commentary, guys. But hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this. But that is going to do for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Hope to catch y'all in the next video. Da-da-do, says everybody.